I was told to make a table format of the last six months data and uh, this is how generally we make uh, a table format. Either we make this data in Excel and then just simply copy and paste in PowerPoint or simply I use the tables in the PowerPoint itself and can make a table something look like this. Actually this is very boring, out of date and uh, uh, not convincing to the, the audience. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can convert this table from something like this to this. You can see here, this is the same table, the same data, everything is same. I have converted from this to this. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Before I start the tutorial, let me share some news. Actually, it's kind of a bad news. Uh, from the last two days, I started getting so many emails from YouTube claiming that I have uh, used some uh, copyright music in my videos. I have no idea that it was a copyright music. And after posting the video uh, like three years before, now they are claiming that uh, the music belongs to them. So uh, to remove the claim, I have to delete the background score and while deleting the background score, uh, sometimes my voiceover will also get uh, deleted. So please bear with us and I'm trying to put the, uh, the subtitles for these videos and I'm expecting the same support what you showed for my channel in the past and uh, expecting the same thing in the future too. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to fill this with the gradient color so select the gradient color so by default you have got four stops i'm just going to delete uh, the two stops and then i'm going to select the first stop go to colors more colors and either you can go to the standard and select the colors or you can just go here and choose any color of your choice you can see here you can just select any color of your choice just select this one randomly any good color and the other side i'm going to more colors and i'm going to go towards more kind of a green and you can just uh, get something like this so you can see here you got the combination of the light and the dark green and if you want you can just change the uh, the direction and then if you see here, I'm just going to use this particular table for that. First of all, this is one full table actually. Uh, it could be copied from the Excel also or it is uh, done in PowerPoint too. So let me just copy the first, uh, the header only. If you can see here, this is the month. I'm just going to select this, press Control C to copy. Come here, right mouse click and click this one, paste. You can see here, you've got this one. You can just, okay, close the design ideas and just increase the width you can see here and select this go to the layout click on the center vertically you can see here and then you can just go and increase the size and maybe I'm going to give the font as a Calibri or some other good font also you can give it not a problem so you can see here let me just first uh, do this one if I want I can increase further and then I'm going to the same table. I'm going to select the products. Again, Control C. You can come here, paste it, and exactly bring it here. You can see here. And then increase the size, something like this. And again, select this. Again, go to layout. Make it center. Again, same font, Calibri and increase the size you can see here and then i'm going to the table i'm going to select this Control c and paste it and again bring it here you can see same thing again i'm going to select this design or the layout select this and home calibri and increase the size or if you want you can just select all at once also something like this but i don't want this one to come so that's the reason i'm selecting a different different here so if you see here this is one table this is one table and this is another table so i have used three different tables to make or to look like a one table here 
so i'm going to select this uh, month this table just select this all these rows uh, one row only all these columns i can say and then shape fill you make it fully white and then i'm going to increase the transparency level here maybe i can make it uh, maybe 40 percent you can see here and then i'm going to select this again go to the uh, layout or the design sorry and then i'm just going to select uh, this particular point one point and then pen color select white and i'm just clicking on the borders so you can see here i've got the white borders and a, a white a transparent background and then i'm going to select the same thing for example if i select this home format painter and just paint this this is not happening so in the table it will not happen so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this again you can see here and i can give some uh, green color dark green color and i can make a less transparent or you can give some other colors also and then i can just make this uh, font as the white font and the same thing go to design again the white and then the border also i'm selecting so it becomes white also here even this also i have to select which i forgot to select let me just select this two also so now you can see here i've got uh, this one now for this also i'm just going to select and make the shading again as white and you can increase the transparency level you can see here and then again the border also i'm just giving the white borders and then you can select the uh, the total column and you can give some a different color here maybe i can give uh, say orange and make it no transparent you can see here and this also i'm just selecting this and make it no transparent so it looks something like this and this one i can make it bold also just make it bold and this column also it is already bold if you want you can just increase the size as well so you can see here i have just this converted the table from this uh, to this and if you want i can just add one more white background let me just go to insert shapes i'm going to select this rectangle rounded corners draw it you can see here just draw it and reduce the curves you can see here maybe this much all right and then shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give a gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to use one white color you can see here and here also i'm going to use the white color but this white i'm just making it a less transparent whereas the one at the bottom i'm going to give more transparent here so you can see here it looks something like this then just send this to back you can see here it's almost done you can just adjust it so that you have got the equal borders uh, at the four corners you can see here it's almost done if you want you can make it further uh, you can see here i can increase the transparency level so it looks something like this so and then you can come here and add your title here i'll just say sales in the last six months or whatever i'm just giving some title here and then again calibri increase the size make it bold and if you want you can give some different colors also here so you can see here sales for the last not from it will be for the last six months so you can see here if you compare the table from this now it has been converted to something like this that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye